11 critters you won't believe actually exist. Number 11. Simotha Excua Simotha Excua, or the tongue-eating louse, is a stomach-churning creature that will make your skin crawl just thinking about it. This ocean parasite thrives by making itself an unwanted guest in fish's mouths. It begins its process of invasion by entering the fish's body through the gills and eventually attaching itself onto the tongue, where it will use it as food until it finally dries out and falls off. Although there is no longer a tongue there for the parasite to feed on, it it will secure its positioning on the remaining stub of the tongue and continue to live off the blood and mucus in the fish's mouth. The fish has to make the best out of the situation and use the parasite as if it were its tongue. That's just gross. Number 10. Panda Ant Commonly found in the southwestern section of America and certain parts of Mexico, the panda ant is an adorable insect but packs quite the punch. They get their name from the black and white marking resembling the cute but also tough panda bear. They aren't ants despite the ant-like appearance. They belong to the wasp Hymenopteran family Mutilidea. Don't let this fuzzy wingless wasp fool you. They are not to be handled by the bare hand because the painful sting is thought to be able to subdue a cow, which is why it's sometimes known as the cow killer. Number 9. Red-Libbed Fatfish this crimson-lipped seafloor walking weirdo is the red-lipped batfish. The first thing you notice about this fish is its bright red lip color. The males use this flashy lip display as a way to attract the attention of females for mating purposes. It is not very likely that you will ever run into one while on a swim because they usually dwell in the deep waters of the Galapagos Islands. They will grow up to 40 centimeters in length and have a diet that consists of crustaceans, mollusks, and small fish. The dorsal fin they have on their face resembles that of an anglerfish and they use their pectoral and pelvic fins to move across the ocean floor like they are walking. This bizarre looking fish is a rare sighting because they usually live in waters up to 100 feet deep. Even even divers rarely encounter them. Number 8. The Giant Isopod A huge crustacean and the biggest member of the isopod family, the giant isopod is quite a sight to see. There is fossil evidence that giant isopods existed more than 160 million years ago, which would be before the subcontinental breakup. Usually they range from 7.5 to 14.2 inches, but there have been incidents where larger ones have been found. Their giganticism is thought to be caused by the great amount of deep sea pressure. They have unusual eating habits, but when they do eat, they scavenge for dead sea animals or slow moving live animals like sea sponges. The ghostly colored giant isopods can go a very long time without eating, and the longest recorded length of time without food was five years. Number 7. Glacus Atlanticus. The real life dragon, Glacus Atlanticus. Well, actually, it's a sea slug. But that fact doesn't take away from its beauty or its fierce and powerful attack. The blue dragon is immune to toxins in other treacherous sea animals like the man of war and will collect the toxin nematosis cells from the man of war tentacles in their appendages and use them as their own. Which gives these white and blue one inch little guys the ability to sting with the power of a creature much bigger than themselves. Even though they look like a Pokemon, try not to catch one yourself because the sting will most definitely hurt. Number 6. Wolf Trap Anglerfish A peculiar and horrible looking fish are the Wolf Trap Anglerfish. From the built-in fishing pole attached to the top of their heads, to the insane upper jaw that reaches over the bottom jaw and clasps shut, similar to the Venus flytrap. This critter isn't going to be a winner of any beauty pageants. They hunt for their prey using bioluminescent lure at the end of their fishing pole, or Elysium. The lure, or Eska, has spare-like points and glows to attract their next meal. They are omnivores, so they also feed on plant matter as well as the small fish that they capture. Number 5. The Camel Spider 
The camel spider has been anointed with various frightening legends, but doesn't quite live up to them. While they are seriously scary looking achnoids, they don't fly through the air to attack, and they also don't feast on camel stomachs. The camel spider also isn't a spider, and poses very little threat to the humans, because they aren't even poisonous. They use their unique jaws to basically saw up the bodies of their prey to devour them and use their digestive fluids to liquefy the body remains for easier digestion. Which on its own is a pretty terrifying description, not to mention the fact that they can run up to 10 miles per hour. Number 4. Hummingbird Hawk Moth now that isn't an actual hummingbird feeding on those flowers, it's the hummingbird hawk moth. These little guys are often mistaken for hummingbirds, not only because of their appearance, but how they move shockingly similar to the bird's darting movements, and how they hover over a flower with their fast moving wings. They have a long tongue used to feed on the nectar of flowers, and are found in many parts of North America. So keep an eye out and an ear out for the soft hum near a flower, because it might just be coming from these cute, chubby moths. Let's dig in into the top 3 with Titan Beetle. The biggest known beetle species is the Titan Beetle. Titan is a fitting name for the goliath sized beast of a beetle, commonly found in regions that have the hot and humid areas near the tropics like French Guiana, North Brazil and Colombia. The offsprings of the Titan Beetle in larvae stage eat large chunks of wood to survive and their population is dropping due to the destruction of their homes from the timber industry. So while they are scary cockroach looking monsters, they need our help to preserve their homes. You can even earn up to $500 a bug by turning specimens to a collector who will help provide awareness and funding for their conservation. Number 2. Horsehair Worm well, Mr. Bond, I have some parasitic mind-controlling worms. The horsehair worms bore straight into the body of insects or enter the body through being swallowed. We don't have to worry about these parasites because they target crickets, grasshoppers, beetles, centipedes and roaches. Studies have shown that infected crickets will go towards large bodies of water instead of avoiding them because of their inability to swim. The reason is that the worms themselves are great swimmers and will escape from its host as soon as the host body hits the water, and they will search out a new place to dwell. Finally, on to number one, Emerald Jeweled Wasp. This horrifying bug is not to be taken lightly. The Emerald Jeweled Wasp zombifies cockroaches and uses them as slaves. To do this, the wasp stabs the roach repeatedly first to paralyze it and then injects the brain with mind-controlling venom. The venom makes it so that the cockroach is unable to fight back and only does what the wasp wants. The wasp will lead her slave back to her burrow where she will feed off its blood called hemolymph to regain strength. After this, the wasp will place a single larvae into the roach's body and seal off the burrow with tiny pebbles to let her offspring grow and feed off the roach until it's ready to emerge as an adult emerald jeweled wasp. Which one of these crazy critters' abilities or looks surprised you the most? Have you seen any of them in person? Which one was your favorite? Comment down below and don't forget to share, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.